二零二二年嘅第三條 MC 題目咧，係有關於遺傳學嘅。當年咧得三成五嘅同學答啱嘅啫。咁啊，一齊嚟睇一條題目咯噃。喺曼德爾嘅實驗當中咧，佢就提出啦，一個碗豆嘅特徵咧，係由一對嘅遺傳因子所以控制。而呢啲因子咧，係喺某一個過程底下就會被分開，從而咧就傳遞俾佢哋嘅下一代啦。咁根據翻現代嘅遺傳學嘅知識啦。咁究竟呢個遺傳因子同埋呢個特定嘅過程係代表住啲乜嘢咧？咁其實呢個題目咧就考兩樣嘢嘅。第一樣咧就係、是、有關於遺傳學嘅概念啦。遺傳嘅基本單位係基因，而呢個基因佢係可以以兩個或者多過兩個嘅形式去出現嘅。而呢啲基因咧，佢哋係出現喺一對嘅同源染色體嘅相同位置。所以啦，我哋有個名就叫做等位嘅基因，咁控制特徵嘅係基因啊嘛，而佢哋係出現喺同樣嘅位置嘛，咁所以佢叫等位基因，咁所以答案咧都呼之欲出噶啦。A、B 咧就係我哋嘅可能答案，而 C、D 咧就係四 goodbye 啦。咁啊，因為染色體咧係太大條啦，嚇而基因咧喺染色體入面噶嘛，咁所以頭先我哋講嘅就係遺傳嘅基本單位就係基因。咁所以咧，答案就係 A 或者 B 啦。咁究竟啦，等位基因喺邊一個嘅過程當中係會被分開咧？究竟係喺第一次嘅減數細胞分裂啦，定係喺第二次嘅減數細胞分裂咧？咁今次呢個題目咧，就係考翻我哋啦。既然等位基因係喺一對嘅同源染色體嗰處出現。咁即係而家我哋要探究嘅就係，究竟呢一對嘅同源染色體幾時被分開啦？題目咧就考翻我哋第二個概念啦，就係、是、關於染色體嘅獨立分配啦。嗱，今次咧就佢特別想提嘅咧，就係喺呢個同源染色體嘅獨立分配咧，佢係喺我哋第一次嘅減數分裂嘅中期一咧。去發生嘅，因為呢一對嘅同源染色體咧，佢哋喺個前期一咧就已經係配對咗，而喺中期一咧，呢、這個配對咗嘅同源染色體咧，就會喺個細胞嘅中間去排列起上嚟嘅。但係真真正正斬開佢哋嘅咧，係屬於後期一 （anaphase one）， 係將佢哋斬開嘅嗰個特定嘅階段啦。咁所以答案咧就係、是、A 啦，咁啊因為啦呢一對嘅同源染色體咧就係、是、喺一個後期一咧被斬開嘅，咁去到第二次嘅減數細胞分裂啦，例如中期二啦或者後期二啦，其實佢哋分開緊嘅咧就唔係一對對嘅同源染色體啦，而係分開緊嘅咧係喺呢個交叉呢兩條嘅染色。單體啦，而呢兩條染色單體啦，實質佢哋係一樣噶嘛？嗱，首先寫翻啦，佢哋係一個姊妹嘅染色單體啦 ，sister chromatid 啦。而最緊要嘅就係、是、其實佢哋兩者咧係一模一樣噶。咁啊，因為呢個交叉咧，其實就係一個複製咗嘅染色體嚟噶嘛。咁既然講到複製啦，咁即係佢哋係一模一樣噶啦，係咪？咁所以啦，亦都唔符合翻咧呢個等位基因嘅概念嘅。Go to to question three is about genetics. So in this year, only thirty five percent of the students got it correct. So let's take a look at the question. In Mendel's experiment, he proposed that a characteristic of a bee plant was controlled by a pair of hereditary factors, and these factors can be separated in a process before passing to the offspring. So according to the current understanding of genetics, what do the hereditary factors and the process represent respectively? This question it shows us two concepts. The first concept is about the heredity. A gene is the basic unit of the heredity, and a gene can exist in a two or more alternative forms called alleles. Why they are called allele? Because they occur at the same position on a pair of homologous chromosome. So you can see that this is a pair of homologous chromosome, and the genes they occur at the same position in this pair of homologous chromosome. Therefore, you can see that we can eliminate C and D, and the possible answers are A and B. Because for C and D, the hereditary factor they say that is about the chromosome. But chromosome is a large structure, contains a lot of genes. But now the heredity 
basic unit is a gene. Therefore, we should eliminate C and D. So what about the allele? When will they be separate? During first meiotic cell division or second meiotic cell division. So it checks us the second concept about the independent assortment of the homologous chromosome. Independent assortment of the homologous chromosome take place at the metaphase 1 during the first meiotic cell division. So for the prophase 1, the homologous chromosome, they pair up. And in metaphase 1, the homologous chromosome, they pair up and lie up in the middle of the cells. And then in the anaphase 1, so the homologous chromosome will be separate. This is the concept asked that for the allele, when will they be separate? The allele, they occur at the same position on a pair of the homologous chromosome. And now the question asks that when will they be separate? Therefore, the answer is anaphase 1 in the first meiotic cell division. So what about in the metaphase 2? So metaphase 2, you can see that we later on in the anaphase 2, we shall also separate the sister chromatid. So in this idea, you need to clarify the concept that for the duplicated chromosome, there are two sister chromatids, right? So these two structures, they are the sister chromatid. And for the sister chromatid, actually, they are the same, genetically identical. Because for the whole cross, the whole structure, it is a duplicated chromosome. Why it is duplicated? Because the DNA replication takes place. Therefore, for these sister chromatids, they are the same. And for the allele, as I mentioned it the third time already, they occur at the same position on a pair of homologous chromosome. Therefore, they are separated in the anaphase 1. So the answer is A.